Welcome to the final video on how to use your Texas Instrument TI-83, 84 plus calculators um, for using uh, to solve for financial uh, problems. This last video is going to be dealing with internal rate of return or IRR. Um, and this one is unique like the NPV in that you follow a certain formula in order to solve for IRR on your calculator. So I'm going to, like the NPV, I'm going to draw out a timeline and try to explain what is happening. Um, and we'll then solve uh, using the calculator. So let's first just look at this question. It says, Knowledge Associates is a small consulting firm in Portland, Oregon and they are considering the purchase of a new copy center for the office that can copy, fax, and scan documents. The new machine costs $10,010 $10 .10 to purchase and is expected to provide cash flow savings over the next four years of $1,000, $3,000, $6,000, and $7,000. If the discount rate the firm uses to value the cash flows from the office equipment purchase is 15%. Is this a good investment for the firm? Okay, so let's grab the important information from this. I'm gonna make it thick. So it's a first at, at time at CF zero it is going to cost us $10,010 to purchase this copy machine. And then it says that after we purchase it, it's going to give us savings over four years of $1,000, $3,000, $6,000, and then the last year, year four, of $7,000. And they're saying we want... Anything we purchase, we want a return of at least 15%. Um, so IRR, as it says, it's its internal rate of return. So it's effectively telling us what kind of return we're going to get. Um, so let's go here and let's kind of map this out. So this is at time flow zero. So we're going to have one two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. Said so it's gonna cost us 10,010, oh, that's supposed to be a zero, and $10. And then we got 1,000, 3,000, 6,000, 6,000, and then 7,000. Those are going to be our returns. So if we effectively discount these each back to time flow, a cash zero. It's saying, do these sum, are they greater than? that amount and what is R I Y? That's the big question. And we need it to be greater than 15% because they said anything below 15% they don't accept, but anything above they do. So we want to see if this will be above that 15%. So let's jump over to the calculators, turn it on. Go up here to the apps, click number one, and then we're going to go to this menu. It, we don't see IRR initially, so we have to scroll all the way down, and it's number eight. So either you can press number eight or just press enter. In this case, since I'm already there, I'm just going to press enter. So now we're ready to input the formula. So in the formula, you'll see that it's the first step is um, the cash flow at time zero, which was our initial investment of $10,000. Once again, like I explained in NPV, you're going to want to use this negative. Don't use a subtraction. 
use this negative. If you use subtraction, you'll get a weird number. So negative 10,010. Add that comma, which is right here. And then we're going to have to add the curly bracket now. So you're going to go second and then right here. And then the cash flows, we know the first one is 1,000 at year one, comma, 3,000 for year two, comma, 6,000 for year three, comma, and last one, year four, was 7,000. We're going to close that out by uh, closing it with a curly bracket. So second, close. And then it's frequency or how often these are occurring. So we add that comma once again. And then we're going to need another curly bracket, second, curly. And this happens once for 1,000, one for 3,000, one for 6,000. And you're going to put commas in between each one of these. And one for the last one, 7,000. And then we're going to close that out with that curly bracket. And then you don't need, since we're already in this um, solver section for IRR, we don't need to hit second enter or alpha enter. We just hit enter once we have that last curly bracket up. Okay, so it's telling us that we have a 19% return. So this is 4% uh, greater than our 15% that we are seeking. So this is an investment we would want to do. Um, and that's the key is knowing what we what is acceptable and if that is greater. Um, obviously, anything above zero is going to be a positive NPV. Um, I hope this helps. It's been great. If you do have any questions, come see me during my TA office hours. All right. Thank you.